as promised, I'm back, at least for one more show, because, oh, here we go. The sun has almost gone down, but that is, <laughs> that is a tremendous sunset. I don't think it shows up as good as I, doesn't show up as good as it does to the naked eye, but oh my goodness, it's still pretty fantastic, even on my dumb old camera. But on today's show, I'm going to have to pour myself just a little bit more. You don't need to be that close to my bourbon. You can dang near taste it from that close. Um, going to pour just a little bit more. Don't want to run out of bourbon during this show. And yeah, that's it. The last of the bottle of Old Forester 1920. Oh, it has been a an amazing bottle. Just so flavorful. Just so good so good it's just every time so consistent first glass third glass fifth glass don't drink that many glasses but if you do it's it's holding up man i'll tell you what it is oh, it is really damn good uh 63.99 on the shelf i've had some good ones lately too and uh this one this one's up there this one is really up there. Uh, and speaking of being up there, oh, so as promised, I told you I'd have a little surprise for you this, uh, this show about a bottle that I have purchased, but I do not have in hand yet. And it'll be here soon. So my boy uh, Brandon out, in, out by Wichita, he's still finding me bottles. And I'll tell you what, I will tell you what, I got some good ones. Oh my goodness, do I have some good ones. Start with something I've already done on this show. Um, is the, yeah, washers are just turned to straight crap. Four on. Um, and they were so good earlier, damn it. And I'm on four right now. From my last podcast. But yeah, so... He's been doing a little hunting for me. Yeah, my boy Brandon. You've seen him on this show a lot of times. And uh, he enjoys the bourbon. I'll tell you what, he's not. He doesn't beat me very often in washers. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. He's beat me twice. I don't know. We're 100 games in. Maybe 150 games in. I don't know. But he has beat me twice. You can't take that away. And... Uh, so he's he's been able to get a couple bottles for me up there out there. And uh so when I see him next, I'm gonna have again something I've done on the show, but I have I really did enjoy the uh Heaven Hill seven year bottle and bond. Oh man, do I like that. So brought to you by the same people that uh make Henry McKenna ten year. Same people that make Elijah Craig single barrel products and all of the Elijah Craigs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that's right. Two rounds in, 18 washers. I'm at 11. And I haven't thrown one in the middle yet. Oh, but I'm so excited. All right. So I got that bot in just waiting for me. Um, three, six, seven, eight. I'm missing one. Oh, there it is. Hiding behind the JDT caddy right there. So, 18 washers in, 11 points. That's not the focus. What else did he get for me? Something else I've done on this podcast. Oh, a, tr a, oh, that was awesome. Yeah, it's landed on the edge there. That's right, you can see it. Back left corner. Let's see what happens to that washer. So, it's probably going to get knocked somewhere. I'm still aiming for the middle. I'm not aiming for that washer. Because... Finally, third round in, make one, two in a row. God, let's rattle off some. Nope, that's not close. That's not good either. Dang it. At least I made some. So, a, oh, a favorite of most of the bourbon. That will not count. Unfortunately, not on the board. Technically, it's got to be inside your perimeter of the board. So I'm gonna get those two in the middle for six, seven, 
eight, nine, and ten points. An old favorite. A bottle that hopefully will need no introduction. It's got a red label. It's part of the uh, part of the Weller line. That's right. I am definitely talking about Weller Antique, the 107. Got a bottle of that coming. Yeah, 21 points after 27 washers. Bad washer night. But that's not even the only bottle. I got one more coming. One that has never shown its face on the great Whiskey and Washer podcast. Mm. Oh, 1920 is good, but I have a feeling the next bottle I'm about to reveal to be in hand, hopefully in the next couple weeks, whenever I see Brandon again. Oh boy. Old Forester, single barrel, barrel strength. Oh my goodness. Oh, I am so excited. Maybe I can uh, share a picture of my haul on my community page, but oh my God, I cannot wait. Try that bottle. Three and three on 12 points. 12 plus 21 is 32. Oh, the washer. Washer game has gone down, but man, the excitement level of my bourbon collection. Oh, that I'll be able to talk about on this very podcast, this very show. That's right. Come out and see me. I'll let you know when I got them in hand. So, yeah, I got some great bottles. Plus, let me, let me... Uh, let me give you a little secret about Sam's, too. I'm at 32, uh, 32 points after, mm, I believe, 36 washers. Not good. But sometimes you have rounds. It's not all about the washers. And so, if you know where Sam's is, the liquor store that I buy the booze for, I'll tell you what. We may have gotten one bottle Oh, of, is the suspense killing you? That's right. One bottle of Willet 10 year bourbon. Ooh, there's nine points. Willet 10 year. That's right. I got one in my store right now. 41 points. And so if you're looking for that very special very very rare just gem of a bourbon i've had their eight year before this is the i believe I, i've been told at least this is the first year of the uh, 10 year for willet so that's right sam's got one out in baser come up and see me and ask me about it the other gem i got from willet how about a nine year rye Oh my God, their four year is spectacular. They usually do an eight year again. Got a nine year in house right now. So if you're interested in that as well, come up and see me, I'm telling you. Good bottles are coming in daily. You gotta come up and see me and talk, oh my God. Talk whiskey, talk washers. I love both, I love both. That's why I'm out here so much. So I'm not here to, prop my store or get any products sold or anything uh one in that's only six dang it i only need a nine i wasn't even paying attention 47 washers thrown i'm at least gonna finish this off but yeah i'm here for the love of washers i'm here for the love of whiskey particularly bourbons and so when i talk about a bourbon i like it's not because hey they I get free bottles or I'm getting paid. Like it's just for, just for the fun of the game and the fun of the bourbon. So yeah, you'll never hear me. Like if I don't like something, you'll know. That's game right there. I'm not even gonna throw the rest because it's dark. That was a long damn, sh that was a long damn show. But I needed three, so I'm at 47. That's right. And first throw. 
right in the middle. That's right. But let me just give you a little view of my skies coming down, right? It's beautiful. But yeah, like, so this show is just to expand. Hopefully bourbon drinkers, rye drinkers, you know, just expand their palate, talk about stuff that most people may not have tried or whatnot. And a lot of these bottles I'm getting, I'm trying, I have up at Sam's Open to sample. So a plug just to put a plug in because it's true. Um, but I do this because it's fun. I love throwing washers even by myself. I love drinking whiskey, unfortunately, even by myself. But you put those two together and i mean that that's my passion and so that's what i do and you may say hey ryan you're a little drunk right now and you might be right we'll see how many podcasts actually show up before this one airs but uh yeah it's a passion it's fun like i like it's a good way when i'm with my friends for us to actually uh you know get to talk to each other just one-on-one, -on -one, you know, playing washers. And anyway, it's a lot of fun. It's a great game. I have how to build your boards, your own boards on uh, my community page on YouTube. So check that out. The other thing is, man, maybe I can uh, get somebody to build me some. So if you ever just want to purchase them straight from me, like I can just have them available. Like that'd probably be easier. I think more people would probably do that, but let me see the logistics. Maybe my brother-in-law can start um, doing that for me. You know what? I might have talked to him about that. So, anyway, um, just just enjoy nature. Enjoy outside. I mean, my you know my final thoughts are anything that you can get outside to enjoy nature. I'm all for. And washers do that for me. My caddies do that for me because you know what? I don't have to hold my drink very often. Look, here it goes. Right. Like, nice. Um, again, not a sponsor. Just something I enjoy. I enjoy Old Forester 1920. I just absolutely love it. So you should go get a bottle. $63.99 at Sam's. If you can't find it cheaper, come up and see me. Talk to me about it. I'm rambling on. I should have thrown more washers. My apologies, but I'll tell you what. Hopefully the passion comes out. Like, I'm here to make washers mainstream. That's what I'm here for. So, if you like this, send it to somebody else. Let's get this game going. Come out. You want to be on the show? Come out. I'll play you. Like, I'll, I'll give you good whiskey. I'll give you good bourbons. I'll give you good rice. Like... All you got to do is bring yourself out and I'll, we'll play and you can be on the show and we'll talk whiskey. We'll talk washers because that's what this show is all about. So anyway, that was a very long, long winded way to say I'm Ryan, your host of whiskey and washers. I thank you sincerely for watching. As always, it's a Monday evening Oh, and it's been beautiful. I hope your Monday has been filled with joy as well because mine has. And it still will continue because my very last glass of Old Forester 1920 that I have currently. So go get a bottle and enjoy it yourself. I have enjoyed mine immensely. Thanks, as always, for watching. Goodness sakes. It's been a great evening. I hope yours was well.